Tim and Jane met up one day to complete their project work. They met up at Pixel Garden, sat down and began discussing about the project. During the discussion, Tim and Jean maintained eye contact with Ken, and Tim also replied Ken with, ah, yeah, um. He was also actively contributing to the discussion. Thirty minutes has passed, and Ken starts to get bored, and started to use his phone. He was also tapping his finger while using his phone. After a while, Ken started to yawn, and Tim began to get irritated by the tapping sound Ken is making, and wanted to get Ken off his phone. Tim asked Ken for his opinion to grab his attention, as Jean has proposed a great point. However, Ken shouted, and slammed the table, then, Tim got angry and raised his voice and told Ken that he didn't really contribute much at all. Ken retaliated, and started shouting and scolding Tim. Tim then continued to raise his voice, and was emphasizing the importance of the project. This sparked a heated argument between Ken and Tim. There are five points to learn from this story, that can help you improve effective interpersonal communication. Firstly, Tim and Jane was keeping eye contact with Ken. This improved effective interpersonal communication, as it helps the listener to pay more attention to the speaker. Secondly, Tim used non-lexical conversation sounds, like, ah, ya, um. This allows Ken to know that Tim is listening and paying attention. Thirdly, Ken should not be using his phone, as it is a communication barrier. This will affect effective interpersonal communication, as it distracts you from the conversation. Fourthly, Ken tapping his finger would be a sign of a body language, which gives people the impression of him being impatient. The tapping of finger would annoy people and cause the wrong idea to be conveyed. Lastly, the tone Ken used to reply Tim makes him sound uninterested, and Tim also used the same tone to retaliate. However, Tim used the tone to emphasize the importance of the project. Tone can help someone to better understand the conversation, but it can also cause conflict, 